Bar Raffaele showing us why she is number one on Maxim Magazine's Hot 100 list 2012. Well, Bar is here this morning to tell us how she snagged this coveted spot. You were number six. Last year, how'd you get hotter in a year to go to number one? I paid someone. Good money. Yeah. That's a heat index uh, climb of five, according to uh, my calculations. Everything's yeah. above bar here? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, bar. What's really? that Really? They covered right it? I don't understand why we're covering that, because I'm looking at the real thing right here. And, no <laughs> and you can just show it on the camera. Were you really stuff. nude for that shoot? No, I had um, underwear. Little. Very tiny. But I did have underwear. It feels kind of uncomfortable, you know. Being nude around people. Really? With a body like that? How does it feel to be on the same <laughs> list as Stephen Colbert? <laughs> you know what? I'm really hoping he's going to show up to the party. <laughs> but, it, but you know, it only proves that it's not only about being hot and, and pretty, it's also about being really smart. So, yes, it's true. Being number one. Politically Here's what savvy. I want to know. Looking at that picture of your body, I think all women have something that they don't like on their body. What's your least favorite thing about your body? Um, and I love it if you don't have one. You know what it is? I work out a lot, and I kind of have the tendency to grow muscles. So I wish I, sometimes I was just like a tender little girl, but I'm really not. I kind of look like a soccer player if I work out That's too good. much. Yeah. What's your favorite body part then? Um, I, I don't mind my dimples. Cute. That's <laughs> yeah, cute. How know. do you? How do you? I mean. You, you've been modeling since you're eight months old, and obviously, so you've been doing this for a long time. How people tell you you're hot all the time, here they are saying you're the hottest. Is it okay to be told that you're hot? Is it a lot of pressure to have to look hot all the time and be hot? Just I have no, absolutely how hot? By the way, no how problem hot are you with right that. Oh I'm God, really hot. We need hot. the air because oh, I am oh, hot. But oh, I have oh, no problem with that whatsoever. No? What no. Are your, your family, your brother or dad, are they like, you're hot? Like, are they like, I'm not looking at these pictures? Oh, come on. My family doesn't say that to me, but they're, they're really proud. My dad called me this morning. He saw, like, Conan last night, and he was, like, so happy. He said, all my friends are texting me, and it was so cute. And he knows I'm not just that, so. Now, people like Heidi Klum, whom, whom we love, uh, have parlayed the hot. Recently, Brooklyn Decker has parlayed the hot into... Some movies. She's done a couple of movies, and you know Heidi's got all her millions of businesses. You have an underwear line, I understand. Yeah. Do you want to be an actress too? Do you want to be able to parlay the hot to make make it go the distance? Oh, look at you playing tennis in your underwear. That's good. Yeah, you know I do it every day. <laughs> Where are you gonna put the ball? <laughs> By the way, would you like to play some singles later? <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Um, yeah, I just I just shot a movie in Israel. I'm doing a, a TV show in Germany now, so I'm going there. But you know, modeling takes a lot of my time, and, and I've, I reached a level where where I have a lot of work. So I'm very thankful, and I can't just quit. No. Are you dating anybody with this busy life of yours? We're uh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> As a date? That's very, no. I wasn't prepared for that. I'm sorry. So if, no, but if I was, then I don't know. Like that was very. I don't know. That was a that was, yeah, that that was, was a hard serve. That was good. That was almost an ace. Exactly. Yeah. That was really good. But can guys approach you? Like you're you're the hottest woman on the planet. Like do guys walk up to you? They can. Uh, not a lot do. <laughs> yeah. Swinging no. for the fences. You got to be that guy. Who goes no. big? Yeah, but um, no. Actually, I don't. I'm not sure why. Don't get hit on a lot. What's your type? Do you like the brash? You know, cocky, ego. Yeah. Guy no. this confidence? Let's call it confidence. Actually, confidence just... is always good. I love confidence. I like a guy that, you know, when you love yourself, you're open to love others. So, of course, you have to love yourself and be confident. I like the funny types. Funny. The really, really smart, witty. Colbert? Witty. Maybe that kind of... That's what I'm hoping is going to come to the party. Is he married? No? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you like a guy, if you see somebody, will you, will you approach him? I, I will, but I've never done that. She doesn't have to. No. She doesn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Never. You, you, back to your underwear line for yeah. a second. Do I understand this is men and women's? This is unisex underwear? No, it's not. I mean, oh. men don't wear you the have... women's. I, we have oh, that'd two be lines. Good, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're not that uh, forward, advanced. Um, no, we have men and women. It's very soft. It's very, very uh, basic. It's just white, black, and gray. You order it online. It's called it Under Without Me. Of these it's called colors. Under Me. That's a catchy, cute little name. Yeah. Do you have any extra men's on you? Because I'm not kidding you. Just yesterday, opened my drawer, looking in there. Where'd they all go? 
You know, I think the undie fairy came and took all my underwear. I have none. Your wife throws them away. She does? That's exactly why I did it online, because, like, you never buy new ones, and the yeah, wife, she always throws the old ones away, because she has <laughs> and to get rid of them. And forever. Damn, yeah. I should have known. That's exactly And they what never I... have time to go buy new ones, so this comes at your doorstep. All right, good. So you'll, uh, but do, so I have to order them online. You didn't, you're not giving me any free underwear? I'm going to send some specially for you. I'd like some, too. I want those ones you're playing tennis in. Uh, you're going to play tennis in there? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> um, congratulations on being number one. And I think Thank you got you. the coolest name of all time. Your name is Barr. That's solid. Yeah, everybody feels good when you hear the word bar, don't the you? Bar. You're hot with the name bar. Yeah, or like that my parents were alcoholic, that I get that a lot, <laughs> were they? But um, That's right. The Beckham's named their kid Brooklyn because that's where he was conceived. I hopefully you were a little more. <laughs> not in, not in a bar. <laughs> no. Is it short for something? <laughs> no, it's my name. It's in Hebrew. It means um, boy, and it means wheat and wilderness as well. So they huh. were hoping for a boy, and they got the most beautiful woman <laughs> in the world. Wow. They were hoping for a wild boy. They got a very calm girl. I, I see wild in there, Bar. I see a, a twinkle bit. in that eye. <laughs> There's trouble. Thank All you right, so dimples. much. All right, Dimples. Pick up Maxim's Hot 100. On sale right now, the June issue hitting newsstands nationwide, May 29th. We'll be right back with Grammy winner Jason Mraz after these messages from your local station.